What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video, and in this one, I want to talk about how the New England Patriots receivers, a couple of them, have come out questioning the New England Patriots' new offensive scheme, new offensive play calling. As we all know, this offense is having a really, really bad start to the year, okay? They only put up seven points against the Dolphins in week one. They put up about 17 points week two against the Steelers. So it definitely got better from week one to week two. I mean, the Steelers' def defense over the you know first two weeks has been one of the best in the NFL. No surprise there. But nonetheless, there's still been a lot of issues. There's still been a lot of flaws. And in today's video, we're going to really reach on a lot of their current statistics offensively and where they rank compared to other NFL teams. What's the issue really been? Along with what are some of these players thinking? What are some of these players saying? So before we get into this video, please make sure you guys leave a big, big thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news and leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section below, guys. You guys liking the video and commenting in the comment section, getting a good football discussion going on really helps me and the YouTube algorithm as it shows YouTube that you guys are liking these videos. So do me a solid, guys. Help out me. Help out the channel. Just leave a like and leave a comment below. Now, the two players that have come out and have openly questioned this offense, its plan, and where it's going have been uh, Jacoby Myers and Kendrick Bourne. Now, the first guy to actually come out and question this offense was Kendrick Bourne. And now recently, it was about uh, during the Steelers game or right after the Steelers game, Jacoby Myers came out and was really starting to question some of his frustrations too. Jacoby just recently came out a couple of days ago and told Mike Giardi that he, and I quote, questions what the plan is sometimes and how we're going to attack. Now guys, it's one thing for the media to question. It is one thing for us fans to question and just in general be on Matt Patricia and Bill Belichick's butt about this. But when your own players are questioning this and to the point where they can't even keep it in, they are actively going out well not actively but they are voicing some of their frustrations with this new offensive system play calling and game plan that is where the problem is because once you come to this organization you are told not to let the media know anything you're told to be very blunt very dry not very straightforward just on to the next question essentially don't answer the questions that are brought up to you and so the fact that two of your starting receivers here, two of your best receivers on this New England Patriots offense are coming out and questioning really what the plan is and, you know, the, the, the attack and the overall execution on a week-to-week -week game plan, your players are saying that at this point. It's a real issue. And it's only been two weeks, okay? It's only been two weeks. They looked a lot better from week one to week two. So I really don't want to get ahead of myself too much. Because I am somebody that believes that we were going to start off rough. This offense was going to start off slow, just like it did last year. Not ideal, but I'm not really surprised because that's what I predicted. I didn't think it was going to be this slow. But at the same time, really all offseason and training camp in the preseason, the Patriots offense was starting off slow. It was having issues. It was stalling from every phase, from, you know, run blocking to pass blocking to getting the run game going to passing the ball efficiently and at the end of the day nfl players want to play somewhere for two reasons one they want to play somewhere in a good environment with good coaching good system overall just a good atmosphere where they know they're going to be successful or two somewhere that's just straight up going to give them the bag it's really those two things. There's nothing else. Either you're going somewhere where you know you're going to be successful, potentially win you know, a championship, or you're going somewhere where you're getting money. And unfortunately, right now, this isn't somewhere, at least offensively, underline that word right now, that you're going to come in, uh, you're going to be comfortable with the game plan, you're going to know what it is on a week-to-week -week basis, you know you're going to execute each and every single week. And you know that you're going to be successful because honestly, right now, there's a whole lot more questions offensively than there is answers. And we already know that Bill Belichick and this team is not really a team that likes to go out and just compete with other teams for quality players. They just they don't like to spend that bag unless they truly have it. They don't like to make ways in order to free up cap space in order to go out each and every single offseason to give players the bag. You know, if they have 60 plus million dollars, they'll give it out. But 
that's very few and far between in those years. Like I said, though, I really wanted to get into some of these statistics offensively to kind of give a look at where New England is at. We have a lot of really good in-depth statistics here. Big shout out to TeamRankings.com. Um, they just do really great work. But New England's offense in general here, points per game, they're currently ranked at 29. 29th in the NFL with about an average of 12 points per game. They are also ranked 22nd in yards per game with about 323. Again, keep in mind that goes for passing yards and rushing yards. They rank 30th in the NFL offensively in points per play. They rank 16th in the NFL, which um, I honestly thought they were going to be lower, so I was a little bit surprised, but they are 16th in the NFL with yards per play with about 54 so that definitely has room to get better, but I was surprised that they were as high as they were. Believe it or not, this team is actually a lot better on third down than I realized. They have a third down um, conversion percentage of 50%. 50%, which ranks uh, number 7th in the NFL. Now, currently right now for a fourth down conversion percentage, they are, don't really have a percentage at all. They aren't, they aren't given one. They're ranked number 25, but that really just is because they haven't gone for it on fourth down, so can't really give a percentage or an outlook when they just don't do it. Um, red zone scoring percentage, at least you know touchdown-wise they have here, is 50% ranked at 19th. So again, definitely room to get better there, but I was a little surprised they were even at 19th, and I was surprised to see that once they're getting into the red zone, they're putting it into the uh, end zone with a touchdown about 50% of the time. Now, touchdowns per game, 22nd. Okay, 22nd in the NFL. We knew this was going to be low. This is really an area that they have to get better at is actually capitalizing, putting points up on the board. Touchdowns per game, only about 1.5. So now I want to get a little bit more into each individual part of this offense. I want to get into the offensive line, the running attack, and the passing attack, and where they are ranking throughout the NFL. So let's start off here with the rushing attack. Rushing play percentage, New England is ranked at number 9 with about 44% of the time. Now, yards per rush, they are ranked 22nd, guys. They are ranked 22nd in the NFL with about 3.8 yards per rush attempt. I think a big reason, too, New England's offense was more successful last year than it is at least to start for the first two weeks this year is the fact that we just really don't have a running attack. And you have Damian Harris and Ramondre Stevenson back there. It should not be an issue at all. This is one of the best tandems in the National Football League when it comes to two running backs. So I think one of the ways to start becoming more successful is to get this running game figured out because like I said, 3.8 yards per rush attempt, 22nd in the NFL. Now rushes per game, that's ranked at about 12th overall. That's definitely a de decrease compared to last year. They're only having about 26.5 rushes per game. Now, rush yards per game is ranked 19th in the NFL with about 101. And then rushing touchdowns per game is only 0.5. That's ranked 11th in the NFL. So there's not a single category outside rush play percentage in the running game that New England is ranked top 10. Again, big step backwards from where we were last year. So now we're getting on to the area that I think a lot of Patriots fans are more interested in, and that is the passing statistics here. Some of these actually surprised me with where the Patriots were at. So let's get into this. Pass play percentage. New England is at 55%. They are passing the ball 55% of the time. That's definitely an increase compared to last year. That's ranked 24th in the NFL. Completion percentage. New England's completing the ball. You know, Mac Jones, 64% of the time, which is ranked 14th in the NFL. Now get this. This is the one that surprised me. Yards per pass. New England is top 10. Top 10 in the NFL in yards per pass with 6.8 yards. Now, New England's also not averaging a whole lot of passes per game. They're only averaging about 32 passes per game, which is ranked 20th in the NFL. And you look at the low percentage they have in passes per game and the low percentage of rushing attempts per game, and you're saying, well, no, duh, this offense isn't going anywhere. If you're low in 
pass attempts and rush attempts, how are how are you going to put up any points on the board? And I think that comes down to this offense stalling a lot of the times, but also the amount of turnovers they're having per game. You finally start to get something going and you're either fumbling the ball or the ball's getting intercepted, which we will get into that turnover differential later on into this video. Now, as for their pass yards per game, they have about 225. That's ranked 17th in the NFL. Now, inter interception thrown percentage. This is a big one. Interception thrown percentage is 3.08%. That is ranked as 21st in the NFL. You have to get better there. And I think that's an area Bill Belichick needs to start preaching a lot more. You know, this is something Belichick has really preached on his quarterbacks for the longest time is taking care of the football. And you know, that's something Mac Jones in his game, even coming out of college, was known for. An interception thrown percentage is ranked 21st. You cannot have that. And as for quarterback sacked percentage, believe it or not, New England's top five. New England is ranked fourth in the NFL in quarterback sacked percentage with just 2.9%. Honestly, guys, if I'm going to tell you what I think the biggest issue is offensively right now, it's not the running game, it's not the passing game, it's not the offensive line, it's the turnovers. The turnovers is what is killing this team right now, what's killing this offense. If you start taking care of the football and not continuously you know, giving turnovers... One, these games are going to be a lot more closer. Two, you're going to start winning more games. And three, your offense is going to start looking a lot more successful. I think the biggest issue and why this team has not looked that great offensively through two weeks has been the issues with turnovers. Their turnover margin per game is negative one. That's ranked 22nd in the NFL. Their giveaways per game, two. They're averaging two giveaways per game. That is ranked 22nd in the NFL. Takeaways per game just one that is ranked 17th in the nfl and interceptions thrown percentage is three percent of the time ranked 21st in the nfl and i know a lot of patriots fans are going to start looking at the penalties here and saying no that that's what's killing us and these penalties are not helping at all penalties per game new england has about five per game that's only ranked ninth in the nfl but it's the penalty yards per game that is really killing them penalty-wise. That's ranked 12th in the NFL, averaging about 7 yards per penalty. You look at these statistics, I got into the running attack, I got into the passing attack. Obviously, both have to get better, but I really feel like you look at these statistics, you look at their placement throughout all teams in the NFL, throughout 32 teams, and the biggest issue is really coming down to their turnover statistics. You got to take care of the football. You got to be better in that area. This team's offense has looked uncharacteristically bad so far this season and this offseason. And I think one of the biggest issues and one of the biggest causes for that is the fact that they're just not taking care of the football, something that New England and Belichick is just absolutely known for doing. But what are your guys' thoughts on Patriots players coming out saying that they're a little bit confused on where this offense is going, kind of voicing some of their frustrations. And what are your thoughts on where they're placed at statistically? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to leave a big like on this video and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. Like always, I appreciate you guys for watching and go Pats.